Hey, what is going on? It's Monday, April 20th. Um, and I tried to upload a video last night. Um, actually, I got a video taken down that was... Um, it was ODD's original video pass me a corona and it got taken down off his channel a couple weeks ago and then he re-edited it and put up a, a shorter version that took out the content that was in question so my version his original stayed up on my channel for that much longer and then it was taken down yesterday I went on to YouTube and they told me that it was taken down I think it's over here so anyways the censorship for this topic is like worse than any other thing that I've ever seen. I've never had videos taken down and I'm mirroring these videos because I'm directing people to my channel through my own activism efforts to get people to have a look at the nonsense that's going on and the censorship is very telling when they start removing these videos. So you really gotta ask yourself is this pandemic uh, what they're telling us? You know, if you're new to this kind of stuff and you see the censorship happening for this topic, then why, why are they doing that? Why don't you? Why don't they want you to see this information? This this should tell you what's going on here. He had some pretty good information on this video that was very telling to the people who are um, perpetrating this this whole worldwide lockdown on us the people us the peasants and my little channel of 1.47 thousand subscribers is, is paltry to someone like ODT, ODT, ODD TV, and many others that I, I mirror their their work and thank you so much for doing these videos guys because you do it well and I haven't the time nor the skill to do it so I'll just keep mirroring it and everyone should be putting this information up. So they're, <clears throat> they're letting a lot of these stand still I've had some taken down as I showed you quickly I don't even remember what this one was and I don't remember when it got taken down but it's down that one is still on hoax reality I think it's called emergency broadcast I tried putting it up twice on two different days and it wouldn't allow me there's a, a little part with Tom Barnett, the um, bearded, bald Australian guy who's really, really smart. And that's what I've been told. That's why it's probably taken down. So let's go to the previous page. And that's my attempt last night. I left it overnight to finish uploading and came down this morning and this is what had happened they just removed it before it even got to go on so I'll have to upload his uh, short version and while I got you here I'll just uh, show you the be getting a lot of interest lately on my truck I don't have a recent picture to show you but I have pretty much what's on 
this piece of paper here pretty much all these doctors um, Dana Ashley video the uh, ICU nurse I don't have this channel or this event on my truck but I did put up the the bounty I put uh, two million dollars to prove corona virus is real or something and then I gave the the blog website and directed them to my channel so my efforts are paying off from getting people coming to my channel and that's probably why YouTube is noticing that and are slowly taking these videos down so if that doesn't tell you new people what's really going on here then I don't know how else to show you these things are real we're being fleeced like never before this is a worldwide lockdown for not what we're being told and I'm not gonna get into details of whether it's this or whether it's that and what's going on the fact of the matter is is it's affecting every single person on earth and we need to stop this nonsense we need to stand up for our rights and tell them I'm not gonna do this anymore so we I, I met uh, on Thursday I came out of the grocery store and there was a business card on my truck window and it was a woman local woman and she apparently liked my signs so I emailed her and um, she got me to join a couple of invited me to join some Facebook groups that are local and I met some other people so long story short Saturday nobody came except for these two women that I met on Facebook who are local so myself my spouse and these two women I had a couple of signs that I was wearing pretty much what was on the truck I had on my signs and we're standing out front of the place that I said to meet up at and uh, no one was there first we went around back and that's where we met these two women and then someone that was coming in to go to work at the restaurant saw us standing there and she looked at my signs and she goes what's up and I said oh we're just having a protest to protest the uh, lockdown and you know it's not what we're being told and I started walking over to her and she just told me to stop and stay back and then she explained that she's um, lost a couple of loved ones or she knew a couple of people who'd passed to this so I said I'm sorry to hear that I said would you like some information and then I went to give, hand her and she just freaked and she said just stay back and then she turned she turned her back on me and proceeded to go into the her place of work so that was that and then we went out front and we just proceeded to talk and we stood by my truck people were slowing down to look because oh my god there's four people talking on the sidewalk and they saw my truck and people were slowing down and whatever we kind of it was kind of neat because we were holding up traffic a bit just with the four of us and they were looking at the truck and my signs on me and they're like puzzled faces like what's going on so then this this lady we're talking about all kinds of stuff you know and you, you meet like one minded people you you just you want to talk and talk and talk so talking and this lady pulls up on the other side of the road and she's got her window down and she's got this dirty look on her face and my back's turned to her and um, my my new friend um, across from me is kind of watching this lady and then wouldn't you know it a cop shows up and the woman across the street has got her head out the window this cop gets out of her, her car this woman officer gets out of her car and the woman looks at the officer and says like has her hand out the window and goes really like really these guys are really doing this and then she drives off and the officer just comes over to us and says how's it going guys what are we doing today oh we're just having a little chat you know a little kind of a, 
a gathering, you know, pro you could call it a protest, but, you know, nobody showed, so we're just talking. Oh, I see you're, you're respecting your social distancing, and, you know, there's only four of you here, so you're all good. You haven't done anything wrong, and, you know, so what are you trying to do here today? And she's looking at my signs that I'm wearing, and, and I said, well, you see, th these doctors I have here, these are, these are doctors, they're are talking about this and the mainstream media is not having it they're they're not letting these people be heard they're not letting me be heard they're censoring us they're deleting us they're there's more to the story than we're being told here this doesn't qualify as a pandemic there's really not a lot going on my my wife here works at a hospital and it's pretty quiet and a lot of people are filming hospitals and it's not a lot going on in these hospitals and it's a very high amount of strangeness to this whole thing and the officers like kind of agree and going yeah there's a lot of frightened people around you know and you know I, I don't watch a lot of the media myself I tend to stay away from it um, so it was pretty good. The the officer was very nice, very respectful. Told us we we're, we're doing nothing wrong. If more people show up, then you gotta respect the five person thing. And um, how long are you planning on staying? And the one of my new friends there said she had to go and take a conference call, so she had to leave. And we said we probably wouldn't be staying much longer and it was quite kind of a bummer because no one showed but it got to meet a couple of new people and I still got all that information out the day before whether people chose not to look at it or chose not to show up but did look at it I've noticed an uptick in my my views so I hope I'm hoping that some people are getting onto this on top of all the information that's literally on my lawn out in front of my road here which gets curious people like daily slowing down to take pictures it's all working so we came home on Saturday after that after drove around town a bit more and actually pulled out in front of an officer vehicle uh, an SUV and that officer stayed behind me for a few kilometers so they they got exposed to it and I thought to myself well that would be cool if they the officer that came to meet with us in town got talking to the officer that was because they work at the same station I'm sure right in town and the one got to drive behind me and the other one got to park behind me and actually meet us on the sidewalk so I can imagine the conversation they may or may not have had but that was that so we drove home and there was a pile of cars that were parked out front of the uh, parking lot down the road from us where there's a entrance to a, a trail to go into the forest and they're clo they've closed down all access points to the, f the wilderness up here. It, that is in itself just terrible because that's medicine. That's going into nature and walking in the fresh air and the sunshine. So these people just said screw that and parked on the road. And the signs say trail closed until further notice and is barricaded. Well, they're parking on the side of the road and they're going in there. So good on you people keep doing that and I took a short video of it and no point in even showing it it's just barricaded and signs up and that's for all these parking lots and all the parks around the world I guess across the world is all like that right so even up here in my little neck of the woods they're doing it it's just terrible so everybody was there parked uh, we got it got home and we took our uh, little boy around her our dog took him around and came out at that location and I noticed some people standing on the side of the road up from the park 
and oh I recognize them they were the people who live in the house there by the park who I'd never met before and I struck up a conversation oh we've never met before we just live around the corner and blah 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 so we got talking and I don't know the order of um, conversation went but eventually it came on to this this whole thing and I was warming up to it but it came up and she said uh, oh these people are in their 60s and they're from Europe they got an accent so the lady says oh I was watching you should watch she says you should watch this it's called uh, event 201 and I said no way you're watching the same kind of stuff as, as we are you know you're, you're on the right path I said I said here take this piece of paper it has some other um, information on it I said this is my YouTube channel here and there's event 201 there and this is a good YouTube channel here and these doctors are all talking out about this and this is a nurse is talking out on this woman's channel and this woman's channel is really good so I gave that to them and then um, I started talking about the uh, National Health Service vital statistics the CDC and they've been sent out a letter uh, a notice to all hospitals across the world that in the event of a possible COVID you don't need to do a diagnosis on the person just label it as a COVID death and this is how they're doing coding now on deaths and I said these doctors are are calling this out this never before happened in the practice of medicine where you don't have to diagnose somebody you just label it as this and then she she said we just have a friend we just had a friend of ours who passed away 43 years old and she passed away and they put it as COVID but what had happened to this woman was a week before she had trouble breathing and she went to the hospital they did a swab on her and I guess they sent her home till they got results back and she was told she didn't have COVID it didn't come up so they just told her to stay at home even though she was having trouble breathing they just said stay at home so the husband uh, apparently went out to get supplies groceries what have you and the husband came home and the wife had passed how terrible is that and then they turned around and they labeled her as COVID after she had now I have to verify this myself this is just coming from them I haven't looked into the the woman but this is local south of Milton Oakville Ontario and they have a really big hospital there and the, the gentleman even said he drove by that hospital recently and he he went by it slowly just to see like and he says that parking lots empty there's no one there and I said yeah this is it the hospitals are, are not busy right now they're laying people off in hospitals they have time to do TikTok videos and dance around and meanwhile the media is portraying this as a war zone in these hospitals and it's not the case so I'll have to look into what the the lady said about this this 43 year old woman who had trouble breathing and then I asked you know do you know the general location of her residence because I'd really like to go and see what's around there hint hint so it, 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 kind of a bad day good day Saturday was because we met some neighbors that live minutes from our home who are on top of this stuff too so it and they're not very keen on where this is going either with forced medical procedures hint hint so I'm optimistic and my efforts are slowly paying off but I'm sure that I'm sure that this place here is gonna slowly weed us out so it's time to get on the bit shoot in the LBRY right so this has gone this video has gone longer than I thought but if you're still with me thanks for watching and I'll be sure to keep uploading all relevant um, content as this unfolds because it is the most important topic right now we have to stop this stop this 
nonsense and shut this crap down and get rid of the parasites who are perpetuating this hoax. So, have a good day. It is beautiful blue sky here in Ontario today. I'm looking out my window. I gotta get out there and build another garden. So, get your gardens going, folks. Take care.